So, at the at my waist here, because I've already tempered with my zipper allowance, I have to remeasure this again. That's my round body measurement. So from here, from this new curve, remember my, my waist measurement was was 8.3 for my round body measurement for my waist. So now I will remeasure it back again from that curve. So from here to there, I have 8.3 here like so. Then the length, the new length of my blouse from here to I will not have two inches to it from year to year. I have two inches to it. This is what I have. So now, yes, now my new, my new line. So from my under boss here, because I've already tempered with heat on this place, I have to shift this back again. From here, I'll measure it here. My under boss was uh, 6.3. From here, I make sure at 6.3 that the new line now 6.3 so now the next step is for me to connect all these lines together so from here I use my tape to connect it or you can use your curve ruler to connect it from here to here like so To this place um, to this place here like so remember our body is curving so I will suggest that you make it curvy from here you just make your make it curvy from here like so to be on the safer side our body is not like that so you just curve it round. Just create the curve. Smoothing out the curve edges. So now that I've used my curve ruler to connect it, you can see the way I use my curve ruler to connect it from there, straight down. So the next step is for me to now bring out my bat wing on this blouse so my to get my bat wing here what i'll simply do is here the length of the slip which i'm using is 11 inches so i'll go here like this i place that 11 inches from here so i'll now connect a straight line to be this line from here to there like so So now from my sleeve length here, I will now create like a circle with my free hand from here, create from here to the length of my blouse here. So I'm going to use my pen to do it now. From here, I just create a circle. Say to me the length, then here I just create because it's not straight, just create a circle. So you can see that. So now that this is done, the next step is to now bring out our sewing allowance for the length of the blouse and for this bat wing as well. So what you do here is this. So at length of my blouse, I'll bring out one inch. I'll roll it out from here. You can see, I'll roll it out from here. So now, next step is to now bring out one inch from for my circle, what I'll do, I'll just follow the shape of the circle to bring out my one inch. So from here, it's one inch. I'll start using my free hand to connect it. Follow the shape of the circle at the bat wing. It's one inch. I'll use my free hand to connect it. 
follow the shape again one inch use my free hand to collect it then i'll follow the shape here again as well so you see the way i'm doing it you just follow the shape of the bat wing to create that your your bat wings uh, um, sewing allowance now when you get to the sleeve length and to the shoulder slope make sure you follow your the shape of the shoulder slope and the sleeve length so that you can get your measurement accurate so yeah i'll bring my pattern paper down what i'll do here at my sleeve and uh, length here i'll follow the shape one inch And I'll go up here like so. I'll connect it. One inch. One inch. You can make it half an inch if you want. But I always like to make my dresses um, have extra um, fabric to work with. I can always trim it off. So here I have one inch. So I'll just connect the dot from here. A straight line. I'll go up here like so, one inch, connect a straight line. So I'm going to do that the same way to my shoulder slope. You can see all my allowances here for the blouse, for the length of the blouse, for my bat wing, and also for my sleeve length, there's an allowance there, and also for my shoulder slope, there's an allowance there as well. These are very important when you are doing your bat wing because you're going to be adding the two pieces together for that which is the, which I mean is the front panel and the back panel together. So now after doing this, the next thing you're going to do is don't forget your sewing allowance at your, at the end of the blouse here by the side. So what I'll do here. Just had, you can add maybe half an inch or, or one inch, depending on you. So, for the sake of this tutorial, I had one inch here. I just follow the curve of the shape, like so, one inch. Just follow the curve of the shape of the blouse, one inch, one inch. So, I'm going to do that from here till I get to the bottom. I'll use my free hand to create the shape from here like so to this way from there to there to there so now I've created my my shape from here which this is my sewing allowance for the blouse so now we finished drafting this pattern if you want to cut it out it's very easy i'll show you how you're going to cut it out from here so what i'm going to do here i have my scissors here so now i have my scissors here. i'm going to start cutting i'm going to cut from here like so straight down straight down straight down straight down this way i'm going to cut 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 and I'll first of all cut out the back panel first from here. I'll just keep on cutting. I just follow the shape of my marking. So I show that here you have to be careful because you don't want to make any mistake at your shoulder. Cut out the back panel first. Cut out the neck weight. Then you cut out the your zipper, your cuffs zipper. This is just to avoid zip bush at the front of the blouse. So 
So now, having done this, now cut her the front neck width. So remember, this is the back is behind. So I'll cut her the front neck with her, like so. Have you done this? So if you want to learn how to sew this blouse, what you do is you simply I'm just going to pin it here. So if you want to stitch it, that's a blouse plus the bat wig together. You simply start from here. You stitch, don't stitch the chest. This is the chest line. You see me start from under the chest line. You stitch, 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 stitch. And you get when you get here, you simply cut here like so. Because you're going to you're going to stitch or the bottom of the blouse and the back twin separate. So remember, this is the sewing allowance. What you do is. You see, I cut it now. You simply fold it inside like so to meet the length of the blouse. You see, then you carry your bat wing as well. You fold it like so. You see, now you can fold it. You see that? Then you stitch or true remember to put this way as station you see that's the only way you can allow you to fold your your sewing allowance at the length of the blouse and your sewing allowance at the bottom of your bat wing as well so this is the back panel all together and this is the front panel you see the back twig is here so when you stitch from here let's say let me hide all the things from here like so so when you stitch from here you can see the back twig let me hide here so when you stitch from here the back twig is here I see the back twig here like so then when your hands come come through, I can only lift it. You see. So that's the end of my tutorial, and I hope you like this tutorial. If you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it and leave your comment below on my channel. And also, before I go, let me show you the last thing I did. You can see this is the back panel. You see the back panel. Remember, back wing, you, you have to hide it from the shoulder slope, you see, from there. So, I guess I have to leave you for now. So, please, one peace and one love and stay safe. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So, for now, peace out and bye for now.